As thousands rush to Nashville International Airport for the holidays, travelers will notice some unsettled dust at BNA. Traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher takes us through the construction that is part of the first phase of an entire airport renovation. Oh, well, we have to go to Houston. When everyone is trying to get out of town. We're on the Houston uh, United flight. Anything can happen. It is on time as far as we can tell. Which Just ask Susie Wargen. I looked around and I thought it's really dark in here <laughs> and there were no display boards going. None of the ticket counters were going. The fire at the Atlanta airport sent Susie and her family driving to Nashville to get a flight home. Getting a little nervous because you had no communication because all the cell service was was really poor. Airports don't close for fires for holidays or in Nashville. <laughs> Top to bottom renovation. There's lots of challenges ahead especially with the major impacts, major changes that we're going to have. Airport Chief Engineer Tracy Holton says you'll notice the dust if you're headed out for Christmas. The first level of the garage will be a ground transportation center, so all of the hotel shuttles, Uber, Lyft, Metro buses you'll pick up here now. One of the projects people will definitely notice if they're flying this week is the Concourse A renovation. They're working on the international arrivals and have to get the temporary fix done before the nonstop from London takes flight in the spring. The five to seven year BNA vision plan calls for more parking, 12 more gates, double the security lines, eventually an entire international building, and even an on-site hotel and future light rail line. So if we don't do anything and just sit on our hands, the roadways are going to be congested, there's going to be long lines, we're going to be at gate capacity, it's not going to be a good customer experience. So. All right, we got our boarding passes, we're set. So this holiday season, yay! <laughs> be sure to plan ahead. Three hours before our flight and hopefully the power stays on and we're good to go. <laughs> yes. That way nothing puts the brakes on your holiday travel. Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5. And the airport expects the biggest travel days to be Friday and Saturday. Staff recommend you arrive two hours before your flight. Tonight, the identity of a pedestrian hit and killed on I-40 